Hey guys. Welcome to Couple. Please like and subscribe if you like this video. One of the most memorable lines from The Dark Knight comes from Harvey Dent, you either die a hero, or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain. But the Two-Face alter ego was wrong. Heath Ledger proved you could do both. By the time Ledger accepted the role as the Joker, he had already become a Hollywood hero. He was the ultimate heartthrob in 10 Things I Hate About You and conveyed his skills as a dramatic actor in The Patriot. He had also secured his first Oscar nomination for his performance in the groundbreaking film Brokeback Mountain. Still, the Joker was the role he was destined to play. Not the Joker fans knew from Jack Nicholson's or Cesar Romero's portrayals but a scarier new villain. Borrowing influence from the drama A Clockwork Orange and the musician Sid Vicious, Ledger and director Christopher Nolan started to form their Joker's identity. I'd seen what world it was that I would be playing in. So I knew it was open for a fresh interpretation, Ledger told Joseph McCabe for the book 100 Things Batman Fans Should Know and Do Before They Die. I also instantly kind of had something up my sleeve, which happened to be exactly what Chris was looking for. We sat down and kind of shared ideas, and they were the same. So, we just went with it. Imagining the Joker was one thing, but becoming the villain was another. Ledger once described the Joker as a psychopathic, mass-murdering, schizophrenic clown with zero empathy to the New York Times not exactly the easiest role to play. To prepare for the role, Ledger isolated himself and concentrated on bringing his character to life. He even kept a diary full of photographs and scribbled lines that served as inspiration for the Joker's persona. I sat around in a hotel room in London for about a month and I just locked myself away and formed a little diary and experimented with voices, he said during an interview with Empire magazine. I ended up landing more within the realm of, like, a psychopath someone with no empathy, very little to no conscience towards his acts which is fun because there is no real limit on the boundaries to what he'd say or how you would say something or what he would do.